don't know that this is better than that, boys. Finger on the trigger just to seal the deal. Feel the chill. Shoot to kill. It's the thrill. It's the skill. It's the rush. It's the oh dust. Oh, my gosh. Live in the backwoods life. After four years of putting in for preference points, I finally have the coveted Iowa bow tag. Meanwhile, I'm impatient. While Michael's putting in for tags every year in Iowa, I'm going about an hour south of Iowa, northeast Missouri, Spikes and Spurs Outfitters, and I can buy archery or rifle tags right over the counter. So this week, my buddy Anthony Dixon and I are hunting in Iowa, and we're going to be bouncing back and forth between us and Kevin hunting down in Missouri. Hey, I've rolled into Spikes and Spurs, hung some camera stands with my tree stand buddies, hung some lifelines, and now it's time to get in a tree. That's killing you stink. Make sure them deer don't smell you. First afternoon here at Spikes and Spurs. You know, a year ago today, we hunted the same setup same day of the year and it was 85 degrees and we were dripping sweat today it's a high of 50 so it should be an incredible week for deer hunting beautiful spot we saw deer here last year we just need the right one to come strolling by It's so cool to be in Iowa though. Iowa is amazing. It's just the whole aura around it that is really unique. I mean, it only took us four years to draw tags. <laughs> It's like four deer, yeah, four, four different bucks in the last 20 minutes. That buck was not a shooter, busted off, G4, nice buck though. One o'clock in the afternoon, let's spend the money around. This is gonna go down quick, we're not gonna get a lot of footage of a deer if he comes in here. I'm gonna have to grab the bow, range find him, and shoot him. It's gonna have to go down quick. Anthony and I have been sitting in the stand all afternoon and we've seen nothing but bucks. Right at dark, a shooter walks out right under us. Anthony had just said that if a buck came out, this was going to have to go down quick. Looks like we're going to have to give him some lessons on how to sling an arrow just a little bit faster. Backwoods Life is brought to you by these great companies. Hawk Optics. Branson Tractors. Antler King. Lethal Products. McCorder Custom Rifles. Elite Archery. And Quality Archery Designs.
This segment of Backwoods Life is brought to you by Covert Scouting Cameras. Remote cameras for hunting, wildlife watching, and security. had a buck we saw yesterday and then pop out right here by us. And he just turned and went the wrong way instead of coming across in front. Not what could do. We're back in there this afternoon. Spikes and spurs. This morning it was nice and cold, but it has warmed up quite a bit. It's pretty warm this afternoon. Back in here to hang out till dark and see if maybe we can catch one of these big boys cruising through. Even if we weren't making a TV show, I still think I'd want to try to find somebody to sit in a tree with me to help me video it all. Because it is absolutely incredible to hear somebody on the other side of the tree say, Big Buck coming in. Um, Anthony's not the only one that needs to learn how to shoot faster, Kevin. Obviously, he knew something wasn't exactly right. He was 50 yards right there. I thought he was going to keep coming closer, but as soon as I realized that was as close as he was going to get it, I mean, he was in my range. I just. can shoot them at 50, but I'd rather shoot them at 20. And 50 is about the limit. Big old mature deer. He just knew something wasn't quite right. Backwoods Life is also brought to you by Bill Jordan's Realtree, Camax Crossbows, Scott Archery, Slick Trick Broadheads, CBE Custom Bow Equipment, Lynch Mob Calls, and Tree Stand Buddy.
This segment of Backwoods Life is brought to you by Shiver Carts, your authorized EasyGo and Textron off-road dealer in Tifton and Valdosta, Georgia. So it's day three, Iowa. It's 24 degrees. Blah, blah, blah. Same old cookie cutter stuff that everybody says on TV. I've seen a lot of deer so far. I've seen a lot of bugs. Just hadn't had it work out yet. So, keeping the faith, stay in the course, see what happens. Meanwhile, in Missouri, it's youth firearm season, so I've had to dig out some orange to keep bow hunting. I've also dug out a decoy, hoping it can pull some bucks right up in the bow range. We moved over here to the pig corn field. Got a lot of history on this field. Just a few years ago, the rough season, we missed, I don't know, three or four deer on this field. I killed a deer several years ago, probably about 600 yards right through there. And about 400 yards right through there, I killed another real good buck. A lot of history right here on this farm. Daylight 73 in Iowa. I think maybe 77. I don't know. It's been a long time. It seemed like I should be a resident here by now. Anyway, we ain't killed anything yet. We got tomorrow to hunt and then we're going home. So, um, yeah, thanks, Iowa. Appreciate you. If you've ever hunted with a kid, you know, when they get bored, they like to make some noise on the calls. And that's exactly what Michael's doing this afternoon. But this time it has worked and there's a buck coming in quick. Back. jacked up and I had, I had to turn one loose man I had to I was just they just looked like a big mature buck I looked at him in the bottom knockers he's got long tines <sighs> I don't care I put it right through him bro that looked like a heck of a good shot to me happened so fast I don't even know it's day five in Iowa and I hope we just punched our tag so I'm gonna check the arrow out right quick and then wait a little bit and go from there. That raptor trick ate him up. 
So it looks like he's bleeding out pretty good right there. I see stopped. I don't know, we'll see. A lot of blood. There's my other half of my arrow. That's coated pretty good. It broke off the tip. So I'll keep following the blood and see what happens. I ain't video right now. Turn it loud, dude. Kill me. Stop. <laughs> Michael doesn't seem too happy about it, but they have lost blood. Looks like a great hit. They've had a good blood trail up to now, but they've lost the trail. Gonna have to wait till morning to find this deer. Long story short, we came in this morning. We drove around the edge of the pasture, and he's 50 yards from where we stopped looking last night. So. Uh, don't regret backing out. It was 28 degrees last night, so meat's still great. And the old elite did the job. He just crashed right here. There's the exit hole. That's on the exit side. And we got us an Iowa buck on the ground. Nine point, I didn't see this yesterday. Not a super giant rack wise deer, but I'm proud of him. We've hunted five days and uh, this is the first good one to give me a shot and he's just got a tank of a body on him. This is just, he's all rutted up, big mature buck. And I couldn't be more proud to be honest with you. We've hunted our butt off, it's been cold. We've tried spotting and stalking, we've sat in stands. We've sat, you know, eight, 10 hour day sits, morning, evening. And when it all comes together, it's pretty cool. And like I say, it's not about the size of the trophy. It's all about the size of the hunt. So no matter where you are, what you're hunting, where you're hunting, just have fun, do your thing. Any deer you can shoot, especially with a bow, is a trophy to me. Just have fun out there. But I feel my first Iowa tag, so I'm proud. Tickled to death. This is what hunting's all about. Amen. Sharing camp, great friends, new friends, Having fun. I think we've all had fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we've laughed a little bit yeah. here or there. It's more fun when you get a nice deer, though. Well, of course, that's icing on the cake. But yeah, I've been doing, helps. been doing this a long time. I've been blessed to shoot a bunch of deer, and this one's just as proud of this one as I am anyone I've ever put an arrow or a bullet through, because it's all about this right here. Backwoods Life is also brought to you by Hunter Safety System, Knockout Lighted Knocks, True Lock Chokes. Redneck Blinds, Winner's Choice Bowstrings, and Dual Game Calls. This segment of Backwoods Life is brought to you by Walls Outdoor Goods, greater than all outdoors. I was fortunate enough to fill my Iowa tag, but Kevin wasn't so lucky with his Missouri bow tag but you can stop in, buy a rifle tag over the counter, and he's gonna give it another try. We come out here this afternoon here at Spikes and Spurs. We got this big picked bean field. My buddy Jeff was hunting over here the other day. He killed a nice buck, but he saw more deer besides the one he just shot too. And uh, it was just a beautiful spot. This old combine sitting here, climbed up on top of the combine, got my McCorder rifle, got the camera, Doing a little self-filming here in Missouri at Spikes and Spurs. Beautiful spot, just sitting on an old combine in Missouri. Now I'm pretty sure this buck would have made the 130 minimum here at Spikes and Spurs. And at 550 yards, he's still well within range of my McCorder custom rifle. However, that fence at 450 yards, that's the property line. 
Was Iowa worth the wait for four years? Absolutely. I had a great time, shot a nice buck, made some great friends, and hunted a new place. That's what hunting's all about. But I think I'm going to probably put in for them muzzleloader tags. You can draw them about every two years. I'm just going to keep buying tags right over the counter. Spikes and spurs there in Missouri. I've had good luck year after year. You didn't see that, did you? A lazy single. <laughs> yeah, that's right, if anybody's interested. <laughs> <laughs> if you need a hanging harness for hunter safety system, I'm apparently my only job is to model it and hang the stand. I'm going to go try to get one this evening so I can sleep in tomorrow and make some breakfast for everybody. You know, I like that cooking that biscuits and gravy. You like eating? Yeah.